Hey there traders, Todd Gordon here with TradingAnalysis.com. This is your free video update for Tuesday, September 1st. And uh, let's see, interesting price action today. We saw big moves in crude, we saw big moves in bonds to the downside, and uh, it kind of broke stocks down. So let's kind of take you through the intermarket uh, events of today, which is Monday. So the, the big one for me was uh, blue, which is the TLT. That's the bond market. This is the 10 and 30 year bonds in, in one ETF. And you're going to notice that this blue line is trading in the same direction as the black line. That's the SPY. Very interesting. Okay, so we have the S&P dropping with bonds. And actually, I think the order was today. Bonds were dropping, which caused stocks to, to, to fall. So you might think, well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Usually stocks and bonds trade opposite of one another, right? Not really the case, okay? If you take a look at this chart, which I use this for my presentations um, when I do intermarket analysis, um, this is 30 years of the 30-year bond chart. Okay, so this goes back to like 1979. So, wow, uh, that's when I was born. So I guess it's 36 years. Um, that's in blue, and then the s and is in red. Okay, take a look at the correlation. Anything above this black line is a positive correlation, which means stocks and bonds actually trade together. Okay, there's only two times in the last 36 years that stocks and bonds trade inverse or with a negative correlation, which is in these two purple areas, uh, which is the 2000 crash and the 2008 crash. So the only time that bonds actually move higher is when stocks are moving lower. And that's kind of those two events are disinflationary, deflationary areas story for another time but basically when we're not in normal inflationary uh, times they are directly sorry they're negatively correlated which means stocks up bonds down the rest of the time when when we're in normal markets um, you get more positive correlation so point here guys is it's not unusual to see stocks and bonds trade in the same direction over the last 30 years okay so on top of that gold moving higher Crude, big time higher. Um, I, I don't have this on a percent change scale. If I did, crude would be through the roof compared to the percent changes of these guys. And the dollar was um, pretty weak to the downside today as gold and crude here uh, both pushed higher. So, like, where does that leave us now for the bond market, right? If Are bonds going to drop? You know, as bonds drop, that kind of pushes the Fed to raise rates. Maybe China's selling a bunch of bonds dropping the bond price, rising, you know, increasing the bond yield, which kind of forces the Fed to raise rates. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense because if they do force the Fed to raise rates, it's going to hurt the Chinese market even more, but maybe they need the money. I don't know. Maybe it's not China selling. Nobody really knows, but that's what's going on. Bonds are dropping. So how far down can bonds go? Well, let's just take a real simple uh, look here. We're going to do A wave on the weekly, whatever that distance is projected down here from the end of B. Equality would be 143 in bonds, okay? Uh, below that, we're going to look for the 1272, which will be at 139. And then 161%, if this is a real breakdown in bonds, is 133. Okay, now what that does to the stock market? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, actually, I forgot one thing. Let's do a retracement of green A wave and kind of fortify the zone. A uh, really nice pair of green support at 143 and 141 in bonds. So I'm going to be working towards that. Now, what's that going to do to stocks? Okay, I am tracking a longer term wave three top here in the stock market. We'll take it one step at a time. Right now, we are short the stock market. Um, I did, we have a 200, 201 uh, call credit spread in September. Uh, we added to it Friday. Um, so we are short against this zone in the SPX, which is uh, pretty much 1980. We will allow it to go up to 2009, but 1980 needs to hold. So we do think we get a retest of those lows, okay? When we go, where we go from there, then we'll have to reset, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, we did take a, a little uh, Gartley sell pattern here today. So this was the five minute chart that we sent out to clients. A equals C uh, on a five minute here, 1983, into the 786 retracement. So we sold right here. Uh, added on the bounce, and here's how it uh, played out. So short in 82, nice little, uh, just a basic Elliott um, fib pattern. You can call it a garlic. It's the same thing. It's a B or two wave, and we dropped away. So we covered half, and we're still taking the other uh, half of the SPY puts. We bought deep in the money, uh, I think we bought 201 puts. So um, we had the 200, 201 call credit spread, and then we bought the 201 
um, 201 half SPY puts, I pay 376 and we get out at like 450 for half. So we're going to continue to press the downside and watch bonds because that's going to be very important and be quite a tell to see if there's a new relationship upon us with stocks and bonds. So keep an eye on that. Um, if this video was a help, please give us a thumbs up on the YouTube window. It helps us kind of rise up in the YouTube search rankings and um, get this information out to more people who might be able to benefit from it. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, just hit the subscribe button right somewhere above me and we'll get these two, uh, these videos to you in real time. All right, guys, good luck. Hope it helps. See you in the next video.